Well, I think first off, we are getting slightly euphoric. I don't think we're all out crazy wild euphoria yet, but you're starting to see it seep in because if you start looking at the valuations, you talk about these AI stocks. That's all you can hear about. I'm tired about hearing about AI stocks. If you look at just the top 10 stocks in the S&P 500, which are basically mega cap tech stocks, uh, their price to earnings ratio now is higher. The median is higher than it was when you had the dot com bubble in 2000 mm -hmm. and when you had the financial crisis in 20, 2010. Mm -hmm. So basically, from a valuation perspective, they are getting kind of, we use this term before, bubblicious. I love to use that economic <laughs> term. And I, I think that is real. Um, but I will say this there's still a lot of cash on the sidelines in the tune of right. $6 trillion. And if the Fed cuts this year, it's an election year. I think they're going to cut. The market says they're going to cut. You have a lot of investors that are getting that 5%. That's going to go away. They're going to get forced into this market, mm. and they're going to blindly buy things like the S&P 500, which are just grossly overweighted to all those AI names, whether it's mm. NVIDIA, Microsoft, point. Apple. So I think the momentum is going to keep going. Unfortunately, my crystal ball broke like 20 years ago. I can't tell you when it's going to end, but it's better to be early than late.